Okay, so we just went into our local card shop and I was greeted by a very nice old man who had all these cards in here. It was nuts, singles, packs, sets, and he gave me a lot of good tips for actually collecting, but holy crap, we got three packs. And this was 70 bucks. We got Illusions Football, which is the big boy, that's like 48 bucks. Got Heritage Baseball and then a 1992 Fleer Ultra Basketball, that's Shaq's rookie year. And I will have to admit, I'm probably gonna do a lot of my pack buying online because these were super duper overpriced. Probably double the amount that I would pay if I just got the hobby box per pack. Like I'm pretty sure Illusions, if you get the box, it's like 20 bucks a pack. And I understand when you sell singles, it's gonna be more but I don't feel like it's that much more. The first time visiting, you don't wanna shove a camera down an old timer's face. Like, tell me, what are the best card deals? Give me your cards right now, old man, before I beat your ass. All right, everybody, so we got our three packs right here, the big one being the Illusions 2020, and we're gonna actually compare this. I paid $48 for this pack and we're gonna look online to see some similar comps and see if this guy ripped us off. And if he did, oh boy, is that old man gonna get a beating. So one of the places that I see nearly everyone talking about to get your cards is David Adams Card World. So I looked up the hobby pack. This is the exact same one. Everything in that local card shop was hobby. And we paid 48 bucks. And on David Adams Card World, it was $53. So hey, you know, we saved a little bit of money, but looking at other similar websites, Boombox who sells individual packs, you know, shout out Boombox, sells it for $37.99. But there's none available and availability is a part of it so i get that they charge significantly less like ten dollars more but you know you have to be available if i'm really going to consider you so i don't consider that it's about forty dollars a pack so if you bought the giant box and you get 10 packs it's 400 bucks forty dollars per pack but that makes sense because it's bulk you're getting more packs and if you're going to sell a single pack you obviously got to make a little bit of money so 48 is pretty reasonable looking at StockX, it's very similar there where it would be about 42 dollars a pack if you look at the last sold so i actually think it was very realistic um comparing to other sources so this guy you know i don't think we got to beat his ass so we're going to open this pack and we're going to be opening also 2020 heritage baseball we're gonna see if we can get like a jason dominguez bobby wood jr there's a few rookies but obviously there was no minor leagues this year, which makes it a little bit weird. And then finally, we got the 1992-93 Fleer Ultra. And you already know who's inside there. We got a Shaquille O'Neal. This isn't the exact card, but we got a rookie Shaquille O'Neal, hopefully in here. And I think Alonzo Mourning, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but there are some good rookies in all these packs. We just really got to hope that we spent our $65 wisely. As always, boys, you already know, we gotta have the white gloves on, keep it protected. These cards don't want any, any fingerprints. We want perfect PSA 10s when we send these in to get graded. Now, looking at the three packs, we got baseball, we got basketball, we got football, all three of the major sports, at least that I give a shit about. Now, I paid $12 for this Fleer Ultra. We're looking for the Shaquille O'Neal and Hakeem Olajuwon in here. We are also looking inside of this 2020 Heritage Pack, which is about $6 for, you know, Bobby Witt Jr., Jason Dominguez, all those rookies that obviously haven't even stepped foot in the major leagues. And then finally, we have this really, really premium pack. I'm talking, you know, most boxes, I mean, when I grew up were like $40, $50 for 10 packs. This one pack alone costs $50 for five cards, meaning I'm paying $10 a card for this pack. So holy shit, do I need a good pull? I'm talking a Burrow, a Tua, a Herbert. I need something big. Otherwise, I'm going home with a very sad wallet. Here we go, everybody. The first rip, the 2020 Heritage Baseball. Oh, let's look inside. No peeking, everybody. No peeking. You already know the rules. Matt Joyce Marlins. Never heard of him. Matt Whistler. Never heard of him. Oh, God. It's not looking good. Wilmer Flores with a little auto. Okay. Okay. You know, we'll... Uh... We'll actually covet that one a little bit more than usual. Lance Thomas. Steven Strasburg, okay. You know, he's a great pitcher, so okay, we'll put that away. Brian Goodwin, never heard of that man. I mean, that looks like Tory Hunter or some oldie. Johander Mendez, I'll have to look this guy up. I don't know much about him. 6'5", 200 from Venezuela. Okay, so you know he's nasty. Definitely a nasty card. And then finally, we got Sergio Romo. The closer. I think he has some high heat. And then Luis Rangifu. 
I have no idea who this man is. Okay, Fleer Ultra, you gotta treat me right. We need the big boy pulls. I need that Shaquille O'Neal in here. 14 cards, so that's actually pretty reasonable, I will admit. Let's uh, get this all on open. Okay, okay, okay. First we got Jared Mustaf, never heard of that man. Okay, next we got Spurs. We're just gonna put those down. Oh my God, guys, you have no idea how hard it is. Okay, stuck. Dale Ellis, Tony Bennett, rookie. Holy shit, big pull alert. That's gonna be at least $100. Tony Bennett, legendary white man can jump. Guys, look at how many cards are just stuck. Just stuck like that. I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think we want that. But we shall see what we got here. We got Greg Grants. I'll let you know when I've actually heard of one of these players. Shaquille O'Neal, the rookie. Oh my goodness, we went Shaq hunting, and you know what? We hit home, cause we get big boy roided out pulls. Look at that Shaquille O'Neal rookie. Add a boy. That's the car we're looking for. That's going to PSA, and I'm gonna get it back in two years saying that it was a PSA 8, even though I got the white gloves on and the corners are pristine, but that's exactly what we wanted. That is the best card you can get. $12, well spent, baby. PSA 9 graded rookie Shaq meets raw rookie Shaq. You guys become best friends, all right? You guys can kiss, you know, your brothers, your good friends. Family's gotta stick together. But oh my goodness gracious, that might be the first actual big pull I've had on my channel. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And we still got half the pack to go. Oh my goodness, can it get better? Can it really get better? Hubert Davis, another big pull. Holy moly, Nicks. Never heard of him, but I'm sure that's somebody I should have heard of. Elmore Spencer, never heard of your ass before. Uh, let's see what else we got here. John Williams. Cavaliers, never heard of him, but you know, obviously, I'm gonna give all of these guys a nice home in my sleeves, but oh, what a pack, because we got the main man, rookie, number one pick out of LSU, Shaquille, big body, barbecue chicken, O'Neal. Okay, this is it though, guys. This is what we've been waiting for. The $50 hobby pack of illusions. We need a rookie quarterback for our lives. And I swear if we get Jake Fromm or Jacob Eason, I will literally die. So we need a first round quarterback. Five cards, $10 a card. Just think about that. Like think about that when you look at Joshua Kelly rookie. I pay $10 for this, okay? Not the best investment in the world. Another rookie. Okay, DeAndre Swift. Is that all my rookies that I get in the pack? Because that would be... Jerry Judy, okay. Jerry Judy, oh my God, look at this transparent. What? Mystique. Oh my goodness gracious. I have never seen anything like that in my life. That's pretty dope. And then finally, we got Jimmy G, who's gonna get replaced because he's ass, but you know, he looks hot. You know, a handsome quarterback is never a bad thing. Deshaun, trade my ass because I ain't playing for you anymore, Watson. And this one's, it feels thicker than normal cards. I'm not sure why. Is it thicker? Am I, am I tripping? Okay, I am tripping. But okay, so we got Jerry Judy Mystique. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'll put the comp right now, but I feel like that was a successful three pack opening. I'm not even gonna lie to you. 